Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. For the past couple of Wednesdays during footies, we have been getting some big time player pick SBCs. And today we hope EA continue that trend with an even bigger and better footies player pick. We're going to talk about how to prepare for that SBC with SBC fodder, the market, and some big EA FC 24 news that is coming out later today, straight from EA Sports. So if you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up on the video, subscribe if you're new, and let's dive into yesterday's content as we always start off by doing. We had a player SBC yesterday. A little bit surprising that we had a leak for a player that we weren't really sure if he was going to drop in an SBC or impacts he dropped as an SBC Chicharito I mean this is a really cheap SBC 65,000 coins to get this done and if you think about it uh, um, it's only one squad which is actually a really big W no team of the week requirement inside of that that's a W as well he's downvoted pretty heavily though 66% downvote and if you look at the card more thumbs down than thumbs up on footbin the real reason I think this card is thumbs down is because he's not five star skills he's four star weak foot and or sorry four star skills five star weak foot he's got outside foot finesse shot and it just kind of like okay it's one of those maybe decent SBCs to do and it's kind of on the same level as we mentioned of Podolski in terms of hype but Podolski at least had five star five star but he was a little bit more expensive so I don't know that one for me it was an SBC that I did straight away but he actually didn't uh, make it into a, my team he uh, made it straight into the Ronaldinho SBC I want to give you guys a little bit of an update on the Dino grind we went ham yesterday we uh last night's video we were at Eight squads out of 33. Today we are at 21 out of 33. So the club is a little bit more empty. The club has not been sent fully, but we are now working through the 89 rated squad sections of this Dino. And I think it's going to be pretty craftable because what I'm doing right now is I'm emptying my club of the ultimate bronze and silver upgrade, emptying into these, getting a bunch of golds back. And I'm going and putting those into player picks, which is giving me great fodder to go and do these Dino sections or 85 times 10s to, the, to go then do a Dino section with what I get from that pack back so the grind is really good right now i'm motivated to get that done and uh, i have plenty of fodder because i invested in some 85s and 86s purely for the dino sbc and uh, i've got those on my transfer list so the dino sbc has been going pretty well hopefully we'll get that done by the end of the week uh, just by purely doing a menu grind and not having to spend too many coins outside of what we have already spent now there was one other sbc that was dropped yesterday and uh, i think it might be the best kind of cheap if you will, player pick in terms of a upgrade pack player pick with a higher rating. Best chance to pack a footies or a big time card like a team of the year from best of batch two. The 87 plus player pick, it requires a team of the week in an 82 rated squad. It's 45,000 coins to do. But technically, if you think about it, out of that 45,000 coins, literally 70% of the price is the team of the week requirement inside of the SBC, right? Team of the week cards are just below 30,000 coins. They're like 28K. That's actually down for those as well. We're going to talk about team of the week and team of the season cards a good bit today. Those prices are actually down. And uh, that 87 plus player pick is a really good value. If you have 81s, 82s, 83s in your club that you don't know where to put, and you want to try to pack a footies or a really good card from batch two, that is a high level player pick that, of course, you could get an 87 rated gold card, but you also could get something pretty good from the batch two, or you could get a footies. And honestly, I have to say, I think that player pick is better to do than doing the um, the best of batch two upgrade because it's about the same price. They're both about 45,000 coins to do. This one is a one of four, and it includes footies where this player pick does not and this one's only a one of three so i think if you're doing any like kind of cheap ish upgrade player picks this is the one to do besides the 80 plus player pick of course and it refreshes every 24 hours and you can do it twice a day so i'm a big fan of that one i think that's a nice sbc for those of us out there that are still trying to hit these footies cards like jesus neymar alawayron that is a nice one now also in some pretty big news EA released the World of Football kit back into the store and is also in our clubs. If you opened the um, pack from the store yesterday, it is now available in your ultimate team. Mine showed up randomly today and EA tweeted about it uh, just after they had put that out. EA FC Direct said impacted players have been sent the corrected kit and it's available. So if you're grinding for that XP, you can go about into the game now, get that done, whether it's in co-op or whether you're going to do it yourself and buy the kit yourself. Um, that that XP is now available for the grinding because that kit is in the game, which is very, very nice. Now, let's talk about the big SPC that has hopefully coming out today, guys. I really hope that EA don't 
change the trend and change up what they've been doing because EA does those sort of things sometimes and it makes us really disappointed. But the 93 plus shapeshifters or foodies player pick week one when this came out, it was given out like, you know, really good shapeshifter players like Ugo Yaris, Usman Dembele. I got Bruno from this two weeks ago. This last week, EA added footies team one and team two inside this player pick. And I'm hoping today that they re-release it again with footies one, two and three inside of it maybe still including shapeshifters if they wanted to just make it a footies only player pick that would be phenomenal as well but the thing is this is a more expensive player pick sbc you see here it's got 84 86 and an 87 squad requirement with a team of the week or a team of the season required and guys fodder this week fodder's actually stayed pretty stagnant a lot of prices are around the same of what they've been or they're even down a little bit they have some of their daily spikes but fodder this week has not been doing that amazing besides monday it had a bit of a spike uh but yesterday it really didn't do too many things it just kind of stayed around the same level and i think that's just because the sbc content has been okay it hasn't been amazing it's just been kind of mid it's been a lot of people doing the same thing 85 times 10s three times a day 84 times 10s people working on the ronaldinho sbc but today could provide a little bit extra demand for a lot of the sbc fodder market and in some specific areas that maybe we can invest for and prepare for ahead of time right last week 78 percent upvote on this player pick and it was 200,000 coins i think it may have even been a little bit more expensive when it was dropped last week but that 87 rated squad is the one that's the most expensive out of the bunch of course being the highest rated but i want you guys to take a look at some of the uh, requirement or some of the solutions to this and how the cheapest way to get it done is via footbin you see a lot of team of the season cards i was clicking through a few of these solutions just a little bit ago almost all these solutions have 91 or 92 rated team of the season cards you throw in a couple of extra fodder cards which are very easy to obtain right now and then all you need are 82s and 83s for this 87 rated squad that is a very interesting thing for this sbc that i want to watch today and i think it might actually be something that we could invest in because if you take a look at the fodder market like we said it's been a bit stagnant all week on the gold cards but it dropped off a lot yesterday in terms of the team of the seasons and in terms of the team of the week cards now team of the seasons right now on the market are about 33,000 coins and earlier in the week i believe just about all of these guys uh were somewhere around like 40k monday these guys were 37 they went up to about 41,000 coins yesterday they dropped off a lot because the sbc content didn't require any new team of the seasons the hype was kind of gone so a lot of these prices dropped down a ton and i do believe the cheapest top cards right now in this game as we said 32 33k is like the 90s the 91s and 92s if you wanted to take a little bit of a risk you could probably go out and invest in some of these again you saw what was in the solutions right the team of the season cards now team of the weeks could also go up as well some of those higher rated ones but i would say probably focus on more of the team of the seasons because there might be a better return on your investment there if more people are buying those to do the player pick now of course this is all hinging around this 93 plus player pick coming back in some way shape form or fashion but again if it does there's going to be so much hype and it's going to be an sbc that will get a lot of people excited because they'll have a chance at hopefully packing footies players from team one two and three i mean that's an sbc i would want to do i still want a chance at packing 99 messi ronaldo and now throw in neymar alawayron and all the cards that are in packs right now that's a player pick that i would want to do and craft i would even put a little bit of dino fodder aside to want to go and get that done so very big sbc for today and for some of the fodder that you guys maybe have in your club from this week like i still have some 86s on my transfer list stuff like that I'm hoping today uh, that that stuff will go up a little bit as well. And it might it might create a really good uh, selling opportunity. There might be a really good opportunity today to actually see a really good spike on fodder and then to sell into that hype of the spike either today or you could maybe wait until tomorrow on Thursday if you wanted to. Um, and then that could be a good time to get out on some of those cards that really just didn't rise as much this week because the SBC content was not that amazing. But the Todd's cards and the team of the leagues are what I would watch very closely today because there could be some more movements there. It is a bit risky though because if EA don't release that player pick, if they release something different like I don't know, maybe this is the day they finally release that 83 times 100 pack. 
Who knows? That could be a little bit of potential of what comes out today. Um, you never know. So, of course, we still have the 87 plus refreshing, the 85 times 10 refreshing. I only did it once yesterday. I'm starting to fall behind on all these SBCs because I'm in the middle of crafting Dino. My all of my fodder demand is heading right into this SBC, and it is uh not being placed in other areas. I'm kind of foregoing the chance of packing Dino, if you will. I already packed Jesus this week. Feel like I hit a big footies card. I'm happy. Alloway Rin, kind of foregoing those chances so that I can get this Dino done. So that's kind of, again, what we're doing a lot on stream right now. I'm making a cup run. Speaking of objectives, uh, we could have more content today in objectives, and that could be with the replacement of another kind of like free XP SP, uh, objective, I'll call it, because this Bradley Danger card and the, I forget who the footies card was that we had before. Oh, Ferrari. Ferrari was before this one, right? So we've had Ferrari. We've had Bradley Danger. Who is EA going to throw out today that's going to be kind of a, a play on the player's name or just a laugh or whoever it's going to be released? Uh, hopefully this does bring out a little bit of XP because it has in the past couple of weeks, but he is expiring today, so maybe a new objective player coming there. And then last week on Wednesday, we had the Podolski. We already mentioned him in comparison to Chicharito. Um, I don't know if we're going to get a player SPC today, guys, because yes, Podolski is expiring, but technically, Podolski was a voted on SBC, right? And he was one of the things that EA put up on their Instagram and said, here, vote for the shooting or the physical. What would you like? Everybody chose shooting. Podolski got an SBC. There was no vote this week on their Instagram. So I'm not expecting a player SBC today. That is maybe why we saw the Chicharito yesterday on Tuesday. So it might be a bit of a quiet day today unless they do surprise us with a player SBC. I just don't quite know on that one so content today is definitely a question mark but that player pick is going to make or break content today 100 percent now other big content that's coming today doesn't even relate to this game it relates to fc 24 new ultimate team season starts next month oh we're aware ea sports we are well aware uh and today is going to be a deep dive on what is new in fc 24 ultimate team their youtube channel um it's already opened up here there's a lot of um, probably a lot of people that are going to be tuning into this day. We're going to be watching it live on stream. That link is down below in the description. We'll be reacting to it. Now, the biggest question I have with all of this today is what is going to be new information? Because we've talked a lot about FC 23 already, right? A couple of videos on the channel. I was able to play the game early and we were able to get some inside access information talking about icon chemistry, talking about the removal of how they do the position changes, right? The new trade system, learning a lot about that. Um, and just kind of those things that, you know, a lot of people maybe had not known we were able to get in access for and information to. And we've talked about that a lot already. Like, are we going to get real interesting and further news today about some of that stuff? Or is it just going to be about the new icons and heroes? Um, you know, is it, are we going to learn more about the market? Are we going to learn more about division rivals? Is there anything in rivals or foot champs or, or moments changing? Are we going to learn more about the new evolutions mode? Is foot draft changing at all? All questions that I have, all questions that I think a lot of us have that we're going to wonder about today when it relates to ultimate team, uh, chemistry is chemistry changing besides icons, right? So many things like people have been saying, can we get a dupe storage? Are we finally going to get a win when our opponent leaves the game? Uh, you know, that sort of thing. We're hoping to get some of those answers today whether or not we get all of them i, I mean honestly 100 percent sure we're not going to get all of those types of answers today but i hope that we get more info than what we have already known which i would say is probably going to happen because we do have um every time i drop a deep dive like this there's always pitch notes that go with it so today on stream we'll be reacting live we'll be looking at this talking about it a lot it comes out two hours before content so make sure you click the link down below in the description head over to the stream today, get followed, and uh, and show up for um, two hours before content when this trailer is going to release. We'll be watching it, talking about it, and it'll be a big day of FC24. Hopefully, they uncover some more massive information that we uh, have not been uh, released or have not seen yet. So that's going to be the video for today, guys. Hopefully, that player pick comes today. I'm excited for it. I'm going to keep grinding Dino. I got to go build some more bronze packs because right now I'm just rinsing my club into these ultimate bronze and silvers. It's worth it. I'm telling you guys, the ultimate silver, you turn it into the 80 plus player pick because you get gold commons and boom, it's insta fodder for Dino or 85s, 10s, which go right into Dino. It's great. So that's going to be the video for me. If you did enjoy it, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you're new. It's been Ethan for account. See you guys in a video today and a big stream today. Peace out.